Colm O'Hearn, are you inside my Mike Stubbsy's radio? Sort of. Not really, though. I would love to be. Stubbsy, it's always been my dream. I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here. It's always been my dream to be a, a radio DJ. A disc jockey, if you will. I just... I fuck, I've always been a big fan of talk radio. I suppose that's why I do like I do like the sound of my own voice and why I've been on so appeared on so many podcasts over the, just throughout the years. Um, but this isn't a retrospective on my life. This isn't uh, this isn't this is your life, Michael. What was his name? What was your? You don't, can't remember. That was too far too <laughs> far too long ago for you. The man, I think he's still alive. I don't want to, Michael, the fellow with the big red book. Do you remember this is your life? Stacey? I do you remember. I know the concept, but I don't think I ever like watched it. Um, before my time is how I'd describe it. What was his name? Hang on two seconds. Mike, uh, Michael, this is your life. I'm sure his name was Michael, wasn't it? <laughs> Michael, hang on two seconds. Michael Aspel. That's it. Yeah, Michael Aspel. Trevor McDonald did it in 2007. I don't remember. Anyway, um, this Inside My Radio <laughs> is a game that, uh, yeah, I've been playing. And you know what? I've been quite enjoying it, Stubbsy. It is effectively a kind of a rhythm-based platformer uh, where you play initially you play as a kind of a green cube uh, that is inside of a radio I don't know it, it starts off and uh, I, I, like it's not a human it's, I don't know it's a weird green being is sucked into uh, a radio and you have to help a lot of people well they're not people they're just cubes of different colors uh, inside the radio and you do that by moving to the beat um well no actually you do okay so it's it's rhythm based however all of your movements aren't rhythm based it is uh so you can you can move freely throughout the level as in you you don't have to like you're not gonna it's not you're not going square by square like say crypt of the necro dancer like where you have to move on the beat in this you can move completely freely but there are certain actions like jumping you have to do on the beat. Um, you, I think they call it smash in the game, which is basically press Y and you kind of just kind of jump up in the air and come smashing down. You can do that on enemies or like fragile kind of platformers platforms that you have to kind of go through. And there's also a dash button as well, uh, which is X, which you have to do on the beat as well. And it's um, it's. I, I really enjoy this. I like. I mean, it hasn't gotten a lot, an awful lot of press, uh, but the kind of places that have picked up on it have kind of, you know, it's been generally favourable uh, in terms of reception. But it's, um, I, I don't know. It, it kind of, it, it goes through genres as well quite well. Like, I mean, I've, I, I currently I'm on. I've kind of played through the first three worlds, for lack of a better term. Where you kind of you come across different characters, uh, like one of them was this kind of, I suppose he was kind of a, kind of a disco kind of style character. Uh, one of them was kind of reggae, and then you have your your green guy at the beginning who's kind of I suppose, kind of a mix of all kind of electronica, and it's uh, like yeah as as you progress through the through the game. Um, obviously levels get more difficult, enemies are introduced, and I suppose that's one part of it that I'm not overly keen on is the enemies. I think it works very well as a, a platformer. Um, just, I suppose, yeah, if, if you have any fucking bit of rhythm in your body at all, you'll be able to press the A button in 4-4 four, four time. But uh, the, the enemies, they, but the enemies that I've come across, they appear to not kind of, uh, I suppose, go to, I, uh, they don't They don't obey the same rules that you obey in this world. They kind of have free reign to do whatever they want, as far as, as far as I, uh, I, I can see anyway. And it's like when, in a game, when an enemy can shoot you when they're off the screen. It's not very fair, because they're depleting your energy, but you can't see them. And it's like, I, I can't kill you. You're fucking me over here. And yeah, some of the enemies can be a little bit kind of dodgy in that regard. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, as I say, like, if, if you have any bit of fucking rhythm in your body at all, you'll be able to... You'll be pretty decent at, at Inside My Radio. See, I don't have any rhythm inside my body at all. Um, so I Have you may... rhythm outside your body? Uh, no, I, I'm just crap at all rhythm. I tried playing guitar once and it ended horribly. Um, so yeah, I... I'm not the most rhythmic person, and 
I don't particularly like Wub Wub music, so will will I like this or not? Uh, well, uh, like it's not all Wub Wub music, as you say. Um, Stubbs, you're done with the kids. You're younger than me. Come on, you should be done with the Wub Wub. No, I, I d- hate the Wub Wub. If it hasn't got a guitar in it, I'm not not an enjoyment. Right. Okay. Um. Well, it's it's not all electronic based, as I say. Like the the second uh, the second kind of character is is yeah I, I, I suppose it's very hard to kind of pin him down to a genre i suppose he is more kind of 70s disco ish as far as i can remember yeah and the the third guy i've come across is reggae like if it follows that same uh that same type of pattern i would imagine like it does kind of change up and there's even one of the the characters i was playing as the the boss character of their their kind of section was, I suppose he was, uh, to give him a blanket term, I suppose it was a kind of he was kind of a rock boss. So it, the music is quite varied. Like it's not, it's I suppose yeah, it's it's not just wub wub as you say, Stubbsy. I I, <laughs> I I think I think you would enjoy it. Like every track, there's a bit of a groove to it, and it's like I mean, did you have you ever enjoyed a rhythm based game like a, a, even I don't know a Guitar Hero or a Rock Band? Oh yeah, or... I, I loved the Guitar Hero or Rock Band games. Um, and then was it Sound Shapes on the Vita? Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. That was quite enjoyable as well. No, I suppose yeah. The only thing is like with Sound Shapes, like Sound Shapes is is fantastic, and it's a, I, I loved that game when it came out. But your movements, well, no, it's wrong to say that. I was going to say your movements don't really. You know, you don't have to be strict with uh, the music you're listening to. But there's certain platforms and stuff that you have to kind of that are that go in time with the music. But this is more so than your environment reacting to your surroundings. It's you have to or react your surroundings reacting to uh, the music. It's you have to react to the music, and you have to be kind of constantly on the beat. And Stubbsy, if you ain't on the beat, son. You're gonna fucking me- you, you can't come inside this radio. All right, you gotta stay outside the radio. But I have faith in you that you can come inside my radio. Stubbsy, you can come inside my radio anytime. <laughs> wow. Um, that, that's quite an offer there, Colm. 